In this video, we have to search a little more than normal to find the bacteria eating this cow's foot. Love hoof trimming videos? Why not hit the subscribe button and join the stampede right now. Good morning folks and welcome to Tech TV. I don't know what you would call us, but I could. On this day, I was trimming in a very busy area on the farm. Farms are usually busy places, with lots going on, but one thing's for sure, if there's a dog on the farm, he's sure to be with the hoof trimmer all day, and this day was no different. So next into the crush was this cow, who had a little bit of discomfort on a back foot, but she wasn't giving away enough signals to know which foot it actually was. First things first, let's get these four hooves or eight claws washed off and ready for the trim. As you've seen there, when I was washing off the hooves, there's no obvious or visible lesions on any of the feet. This first foot was a really nice routine trim restoring balance to both claws. Don't you just love the way a really sharp knife almost makes a squeaking noise as it cuts through the hoof. This back left looks pretty healthy as well. I hardly need to touch that inner claw at all. Sometimes hoof trimming is about what you leave on rather than what you trim off. What do you think, Gerd? Which foot is your friend Liam on? <coughs> now I was at a slight advantage, as I did get a sneak peek when I was lifting this foot. She has a significant dermatitis lesion on the front of this back right. This is one disadvantage of an upright crush, in the fact that the front of the feet are not visible. However, this might be the only disadvantage of an upright crush over a rollover. I'm only joking. I do enjoy the banter with other trimmers who work with other types of crushes. The main thing is though, no matter what crush we have, is that we get the cows trimmed and made comfortable all over the world. So there was Uncle Dermot lurking amongst those long hairs. Dermatitis has several names from slurry heel to hairy warts. And in this case, it is very well named as being a hairy wart. With the lesion cleaned off with an antibacterial wipe, gravity was against me and I can't put the salicylic acid on the lesion like I normally do. So that is why I put it on the bandage first, in this case, and then push it up around the front of the foot. We always trim the four feet on every cow. Back when Tom started in 1986, he mainly did just the back feet and that was fine, but now things have changed. Cows have changed genetically and are able to produce more milk to feed the growing population. And with their added nutrition, their hooves can sometimes grow a little more. 
so it's important to balance the front feet as well as the back. This girl will certainly feel the benefit, even though she wasn't overly lame on any of these feet. Let's get this girl out of the crush, back with the herd. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this video and we will see you all very soon.